You've seen those commercials. We've all seen them. They say, send us your gold and we'll send you cash. And it's a tempting promise, especially during the recession. But is it one you can bank on? Consumer correspondent Elizabeth Leamy right here, right now, to tell us her, the results of her investigation. Good morning. Here's some of the gold we sent out right here. We sent some of it to the industry leader, Cash for Gold, and also to two other mail-in companies that we chose at random. Dollars for Gold and Get Gold Cash. Now's the time to send your unwanted gold for cash. Call it the gold rush of 2009. It's suddenly such a lucrative business that industry pioneer Cash for Gold was able to afford a coveted Super Bowl commercial. I can get cash for this gold medallion of me wearing a gold medallion. But is it a golden opportunity for you? To find out, we assembled three packets of gold and had master gemologist appraiser Don Palmieri and his team verify that every piece was 14 karat gold. Based on the carats, the weight, and the price of gold that day, Don said we could see optimum offers of about $350 for each packet. Thank you. You're welcome. We wanted to verify that we could get that price, so we visited a store in Manhattan without identifying ourselves. Sure enough, the jeweler there tested our gold and offered us $345 for each. $345. Okay, great. So we sent our packets off to Cash for Gold, Dollars for Gold, and Get Gold Cash. A few days later, we started getting offers. Get Gold Cash promises reliable compensation on its website. So how did the company want to compensate us? With $206. When we said no thanks, Get Gold Cash immediately raised its offer to $275. But remember, our appraiser said we could get as much as $350 for our gold. The Baltimore-based company later told us it doesn't pay as much as New York buyers do. Next up, Dollars for Gold, which promises top dollar for your jewelry. In a new twist, this company said some of our pieces were only 10 or 12 carats, even though our state-of-the-art testing showed every one was actually 14 carats. Dollars for Gold's offer, $89.71. If I was looking to get $350 for my items and I got $89 for them, I would not be happy. We commit to the consumer that if they're unhappy with our payment, for any reason, we'll go ahead and send their material back to them, no questions asked. We melt and gold, baby. That leaves Cash for Gold, the biggest in the business. Goodbye, old friend. Cash for Gold has a D rating with the Better Business Bureau. That means that we have enough concerns about this company that we recommend caution in doing business with it. 300 customers have complained to the BBB in the past year, mostly about the price they were offered. So what did we get from Cash for Gold? We showed the company's offer to our expert. And here's what they offered us, 66.05. Wow, that's uh, incredible. Incredible how? It's incredibly low. We called and asked for our gold back, an option all customers have. Then the company more than doubled its offer to $137. Does that make it better to you? It's still pennies on the dollar. We asked Cash for Gold CEO Jeff Aronson why his company offered us $137, $208 less than we were able to get elsewhere. Why so low? That's what that material was worth to me at that time. That's what it was worth to me to process. I make no apologies for pricing whatsoever. I'm a service business. Cash for Gold points out that its own website states that it is not the best price option for all customers. The company says its BBB complaints represent a tiny fraction of its business, and it expects a higher rating soon. Cash for Gold says its customers are focused on service and convenience rather than price. Aren't you cashing in on the fact that people don't know the value of their gold? Oh my God, no. If all you care about is the net dollar and you're willing to go to the seedy part of town and you're willing to travel around, I want you to go there. I don't want you to come to me. I want you to come to me for convenience and ease. So if you have gold to sell, it's up to you to decide what's more important, convenience or cost.